Hello, in this video we are going to look at recording actions and batch processing in Adobe Photoshop uh, Creative Cloud. So um, to start with, I'll just show you the folders that I have. So on my desktop, I have two folders. I have images in and I have images out. Images out is just an empty folder and that's where all my work will be exported to when I'm finished working with it in Photoshop. And images in is a folder um, which contains all of the images that I want to edit and process. Okay, so here I have about eight images. I've got eight images here. And if I right click on these, and go to get info, I can see the image, I can see the information about these images here. So I can see that the color mode for these images is RGB. And what I want to do is I want to use these images in print so I want to create like a brochure or a poster in Adobe InDesign. And so I want to convert these from RGB color mode to CMYK. Okay. And I could also do some other um, editing, like converting them to black and white or something like that. All right. But rather than editing each image individually and processing each image individually, I'm going to record an action to um, save all the different settings I apply and the different options I click on. And then I'm going to batch process. So I'm going to apply those settings, and those changes and those edits to all of these images in this folder and create new copies of those images in the images out folder. Okay, so to start with, what I'll do is I'll just drag the first image into Photoshop. Okay, now, I want to convert this from RGB color mode to CMYK. So I can click on image and mode. Oops, image mode. And you can see that it's RGB color mode. That's what it's set to at the moment. What I can do is change that to CMYK. So I'll click on that and click on OK. All right, now I could do that and then I could go file and I could go save as or export and I could save it into the images out folder. And I could do that for each image. Okay, but there is another thing that I can do. Um, actually, there's two things I can do to make it easier. So what I'll do is I'll close that image. I won't save it. Now, this time when I drag the image into Photoshop, I'm going to bring up the actions window. So I'll click on window and actions, and I'm going to create a new action. So Actions are basically, um, you can record all the steps, all the different menu options that you've clicked on, uh, all the different changes that you've made to an image. You can record those and then you can apply them to other images later on. So I've got the actions window here. I'm going to click on that little menu option and then new action. I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it RGB to CMYK. Click on record. And now I will click on image mode, CMYK and OK. Then I'll click on stop. Now, if I go into my folder again and drag a new image to create a new tab and click on play, it will convert that to CMYK as well without having to go into the image menu and mode and then clicking on CMYK. So we can see that CMYK is already selected because it just converted to CMYK when I clicked on play. Now that's uh, quite easy. It's easier than going into image mode, convert to CMYK for every single image, but it still requires us to open each image manually, do that and then save each image. So there's another way of doing it, which is quite easy. So I'm just going to close these images without saving them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on File and then Automate and Batch. Now, batch processing basically allows us to use actions that we create and do it, um, apply those actions to a whole heap of images all in one go. Okay, so my action is in the default action set and it's you can see all different actions here that already exist 
but the one I want to use is RGB to CMYK, the one that I just created. Okay, now what we need to do is choose a source folder and a destination folder. So the source folder is where the images are coming from. So we click on source, make sure it's folder. It's chosen from that drop down box. There's only one option, but anyway. And then click on choose. Now, that is the images in folder. It's already loaded actually, but if I go to desktop, choose the images in folder, then click on choose. That is now going to be the source folder. So it'll grab all of the images from there. Now I'm going to choose the destination folder. Now, destination could just be save and close, but if you choose folder, it will basically save all of your images to that one folder. So click on choose, and this time I'm going to use the images out folder and click on choose. Okay, now there's a few other things that you can do here. Um, like changing the way that the um, file is named, um, but I'm going to leave that as is. Okay, click on OK, and now it will start going through all of those images, applying those changes, so converting them all to CMYK. Um, all that I need to do is just click on OK when this message comes up, just to set the quality for each image. Okay, now you could also automate that, but it's pretty easy just to sit back here and click on OK because I'm only doing this to eight images. OK, now that's my images in folder with all the um, RGB mode images. If I go to images out, they've all exported there as copies. But if I go to right click, click on get info, we can see that they're now CMYK mode. OK. So we've just changed a whole heap of images from RGB color mode to CMYK mode by creating an action and then using batch processing in Photoshop. And that's all. Thanks for watching.